while I've been making this video about uh, the hypothetical franchise locations, site to site, uh, VPN for covering uh, guest Wi-Fi and cameras, um, I started to realize that I probably should touch on the topic of private networking at both DigitalOcean and Linode uh, when you sideload an operating system uh, such as uh, the PFSense distribution uh, using my shoehorn utility. So uh, let's dive into that. So this is the control panel for um, DigitalOcean and Linode. Um, for the other video that I've been recording, I've got uh, all my kind of hypothetical machines set up. The reason that I'm doing it this way is to actually show it uh, truly across the internet. Um, I, I could have done this as uh, virtual machines on my local hypervisor, but I just really wanted to try to uh, keep it as close to reality as possible. Um, and then I didn't have any spare hardware or any physical uh, store locations that I could take offline to sit there and, and truly show it uh, the way that I would like to. So I might try to go over um, some of the real setup at some of the store locations uh, and just heavily uh, redact information um, since that's uh, real world problems such as uh, voice over IP, cameras, guest Wi-Fi, all those things and then um, having to control different routes. But uh, let's look at the uh, PFSense headquarters setup and then PFSense uh, store setup. So this is, uh, we've these are at two different providers, two different locations. Um, headquarters setup is there in New York City and the store location is there in Dallas, Texas. Store location at Linode, headquarters at uh, uh, DigitalOcean. And so I've got my private IP address right here, 10.132.0.2. And then over on the Linode side, I've got my private IP address of 192.168.224.157. And then uh, that is a subnet mask of 255.255.128.0. While as uh, the one at DigitalOcean is um, 16. Uh, slash 16 for sitter value. Now, that being said, uh, the documentation for DigitalOcean does say the default size is slash 20. And I also kind of want to go over uh, some of the differences between these two separate providers. So DigitalOcean had uh, made some changes uh, a while back where it's a little truer to form that you would see at some of the bigger providers, such as... Um, Amazon, Google, and Microsoft's Azure. And uh, so it's something that's on the DigitalOcean side, when you have uh, multiple virtual machines all on a network, in theory, uh, everything is all separated together. So if you've got machine number one talking to machine number two, then um, they could be in plain text and nothing else would see them. Um, it, depending on how you separate it on uh, either VPCs, uh, virtual private clouds, or actually from other clients of DigitalOcean. While it's on Linode, uh, they're kind of doing it the older way that a lot of different providers would do it, where it's just a very large private network um, that could be, uh, you, you could face man in the middle, uh, uh, at least packet sniffing. Um, and so in a case of how Linode has it set up, if I was y'all, um, I would definitely sit there and have it tunneled, uh, either with an SSH tunnel or with just straight up VPN. A um, couple different options for doing that. Uh, there's OpenVPN, there's Tink, there's um, WireGuard, which is the newer one. Um, it's, it's not a part of uh, PFSense yet. Um, and then there's IPsec. Um, IPsec is my least favorite one. I feel like you spend a lot of time trying to get it to work. And um, dare I say that IPsec feels like it's most popular with neckbeards who like uh, busy work. Um, my schedule is way too busy to sit there and uh, try to make things, uh, <laughs> trying to, to make things work uh, when I'd rather set it and forget it. And so I like uh, Tink a lot, I like OpenVPN, and I'm really excited about WireGuard. So I cannot wait, uh, as its popularity continues to grow, to probably switch everything that I run for all of the physical locations that I want run 
um, over to WireGuard. So um, I'm, I'm chomping at the bit on that one. Um, okay, so let's go to our DigitalOcean side first. Okay, so I've got uh, the DigitalOcean side. I'm first gonna have to set an interface. So DigitalOcean VTNet1 add interface. Let's rename that. Let's also activate it. I will call it VPC because that is what it is. And if you'll recall, .132.0.2. The documentation does say uh, slash 20, but from setting up the other virtual machine, the MVR, I actually saw that it was on a slash 16. So let's go look at it. Right there. So I'm going to keep it the same. I'm going to go ahead and just do a 10 that 132.0.2 slash 16. I will hit save. And then I've got that interface set up. On VPC, I have no rules yet. And I want to show y'all. I'll go to firewall. And I'll go back to my MVR. I'm going to ping. Let's see. 10.132.0.2. Nothing <laughs> else. God bless you. Sorry. It's all good. Uh, let's see. I've got nothing yet. And I can see that it's coming through though. So I can see that my MVR uh, network video recorder virtual machine is banging on the door. So let's add that. And let's see, I could sit there, let's see, ping. For this, let's see, this is going to be our destination. I can actually say VPC address, and then I should be able to say VPC network, and then there we go. So see how uh, our pings are going through? Now let's try it again. Still going, so cool. All right, maybe we want to sit there and say, um, uh, maybe for some crazy reason, we wanna open the firewall up, right? So let's say, uh, let's see, 132.0.2. Oh, and secure since I haven't uh, set the network, or I'm sorry, I haven't set the, uh, uh, the certificate. Okay, nothing yet. Now watch this. Let's go back. There it is right there. See the 444? So, go back to rules, go to VPC, TCP, IPv4, Let's say other four 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 four. Say maintenance. And there you go. So, whoops. Try again. Okay, there you go. So there is the web page. So we have our private network working from MVR to PFSense headquarters. Um, let's see, okay, so that communicates. Now let's say we want to ping 
the MVR from the firewall. So let's go IP editor show. Okay. There you go. Very cool. So that is the private network, the VPC, Virtual Private Cloud, for DigitalOcean set up pretty quickly. And so we're able to ping from the firewall to uh, the MVR, and we're able to ping from the MVR to the firewall. Now, for the sake of security, I'm going to turn off the maintenance, because that would be a very big, uh, oh wait, hang on. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Almost knocked myself out on this. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna turn that off and then apply changes. So we're just gonna respond to pings. So that'll be that. Okay, let's go to the Linode side now that we've done the DigitalOcean side. Um, so I'll go PFSense store, go network. There's my private IP address. There is my subnet mask, 255.255.128.0, which is a uh, sitter value of 17. And I'm going to add this IP address with that sitter value to my firewall. So in the DigitalOcean uh, side of things, I uh, sat there and showed that there's actually a separate interface to the VPC. Check this out. When we go to assignments, there is no additional interface options. There's just this single interface. So it's actually going to be a virtual IP um, that we're gonna add instead. So IP alias, WAN, address 192.168.224.157. I will go to 17 for a sitter value. I'll call this private network. Apply changes. And I'm gonna go back to system logs, firewall, and watch this. I'm going to ping Let's go look at some of these IP values. Uh, ignore this one. This is on the DigitalOcean side. These are on the uh, Linode side. So we're looking at right there, there's a slash 17. And same story, there's a slash 17. Okay, so let's ping our firewall IP address. Oh, how did I even get that? It's uh, auto, okay, try again. Ping. Ping. Nothing, right? So we've got these two IP addresses uh, that are banging on the door. Now let's go look. ICMP. So you see that uh, we've got two IP addresses right there, 178, 176, and then 216, 250. So there's our 250, 216, 250. There's our 178, 176. So we see those uh, right there. Let's just do a quick rule add. And so this is on our, our WAN interface. Um, it's more of a general than, than WAN, I guess, since it's uh, taking both uh, like internet traffic as well as uh, private network traffic. And let's sit there and say, Source and destination. Destination, since we have a private IP, we can sit there and just say, leave it at that, uh, 192.168.224.157. Here, I can say network. I can actually put my uh, network right here. Say ping. And... 
Now this would, here's the thing, this would sit there and respond to everything in this private network. Um, so it could even respond to machines that are not yours. That's why I was talking about, you would definitely want to sit there and tunnel your traffic. Um, this is not a video about security. This is uh, more geared towards just demonstrating uh, the private network side on both DigitalOcean and Linode. Okay, so let's go back to our machines. There you are. So now you've got uh, the firewall responding to both. I can, if you want to sit there and uh, see it actually show up in the logs, I can turn this on, log packets, apply changes. I will go to system logs firewall. Start that over. And there you are, right there, ICMP. And so we've got our pings, click on that. Sorry, click on that, and there you are. So we have pings coming through, and thus concludes private networking at DigitalOcean and at Linode. And I'm gonna get back to recording my main video.